welcome to our channel guys. My name is Vass, this is Vass as well. Um, both two, we're both cousins. Uh, welcome to our channel, Vass Aroma. So every episode we're gonna bring you something new in the uh, men's fragrance world. We're gonna be talking about uh, sexiest fragrances, discontinued fragrances, hard to find fragrances. Um, we will give you the history of them, when they were first came out, when they were discontinued. We will review fragrances from £10 up to limited amount. It doesn't matter what amount it is or what uh, company it is, we're not going to be biased. We're going to review fragrances that are very costly and high, high end. So first episode, we're going to start straight away, guys. Uh, and we're going to be talking today about top four discontinued fragrances that you will find it hard to get on the market at the moment and only on a resale market. All right, so let's get cracking. First fragrance, Aramis Tobacco Reserve. Originally, Aramis came out in 1966. Since then, it's had many variations. Bermuda, Aramis 900. This is the latest, 2018. This is soft notes of tobacco leaf, patchouli, tonka bean, berries, clary sage. Amazing. Spray some on me. You get the tobacco leaf. You start getting the tonka bean, the amber. It's amazing. This was discontinued about a year later. I don't know why, it's amazing. Very hard to find it's going up in price. You can probably buy a resale, but you cannot buy it from a retailer, most definitely. You can find this on all the channels, uh, all the various um, sites. It's going up to about £120 at the moment, 130 starting from about £75 for a 60ml bottle. Amazing. If you can find a bottle, invest your money in this bottle. Right, number two, Armani Attitude. Came out in 2007. Uh, winner of the uh, Fiji Awards uh, prestige packaging uh, to resemble a lighter, as you can see here. Yeah. Uh, top notes Sicilian lemon, uh, middle notes lavender, and a base notes of patchouli. This was one of my favourites back in the day. Uh, fantastic harvest. We used to wear it all the time. Just a few sprays on the neck. You just get so many compliments for it. Um, amazing. Uh, would last probably a good eight hours out of the day as well. Still one of my favourites. Um, discontinued now. Only can get it on the resale market. Um, you're looking probably 150 to 200 pounds now um, on eBay. You might be able to find it on eBay or other websites reselling. But this one is one of the oldies and goldies, I'm afraid, mate, and can't pick it up no more. Right, number three, guys. Jewels uh, by Christian Dior. Rare, rare, rare. All right, um, came out in 1980. 1980. Resales now on the market on a 50 mil bottle for around about 250. Yeah, about that. Yeah, about something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one is a splash on. It came out in a spray form as well. Uh, this is a powerhouse. This is what you call. This is like um, very similar to Antaeus, but slightly sweeter. This is an 80s powerhouse. Um, this continued a few years later, and apparently you can only buy it now in a new formulated bottle, a new size flanker, a sort of like a rectangular bottle. It's Same sort of pattern, if you look at the pattern there, Jules. I don't even want to touch it, you know. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a, it's, it's a powerhouse. You put that on you now, this you come home at night and you sleep, oh, I can still smell it somewhere. This reminds me of one of those 1980 aftershaves, like... That's a medallion, man. Medallion. <laughs> But uh, listen, I mean, I, I, I've got I've got about three bottles. I fortunately found uh, a box of stuff online, and these were in there. I sold one bottle last year. Went for a lot of money. I'm keeping hold of two. I know a nine mil bottle, a nine mil bottle of this can sell for up to fifty, sixty pound. I've seen it on eBay. I don't think it's everyone smell because it's quite it's very it's very strong as you can smell. It's, it's quite a potent smell. What's the base note on that? Uh, leather. Uh, I don't think a lot of people have ever seen this bottle before. Anyway, no, no, it's, it's, it's very rare. I mean, I mean, if yeah. you have, please comment on below if you've ever tried you, this out. If you've ever seen this on the, on a, on a resale market, but this is some rare Christian Dior. This is uh, apparently this has been reformulated. I said, like I said, a, a different bottle, a different like like a, 
a, a sort of like a rectangular bottle, tall bottle. Same sort of packaging again with the stripes. And apparently you can only find it in Paris at duty free. Quite rare. I mean, I mean if you, anyone knows that out there, if you've seen it duty free, yeah. please comment on the yeah. letter. Please the comment if we've left anything I mean, out. Any confirmation on that would be great for us. Um, but yeah. Um, I mean, I'd still wear it. I'm, well, I'm an old boy now, but. Pa powerhouse, powerhouse. Beast mode, Ex as they say. Exclusive. Yeah. exclusive. Number four, Gianni Versace versus. Versus. Uh, came, came out in 1991. 1991, yeah. This... Uh, is it amber? Amber um, Based on oranges. Oranges, balsam. Uh, it's got Sicilian lemon in there. Sicilian well. lemon. This, this, this is. I, I don't know why they do this. They discontinue these favourite things. They, uh, they, they're ama this is amazing. Um, I think a year later they've done the woman's bottle and it's that sort of like dark, deep red bottle. The women's one is amazing. Um, if you look at the cover, it's got the Peaky Binders character on it. There you go. Um, very rare now. This is Johnny Versace classic before his demise. To me, this is pure Versace. That's a classic bottle, man. Look at the bottle. Love the bottle. So classic. Look at it. Yeah, it is, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I've got, I've got a bottle now. I won't. I won't use it because I just want to keep it there. That's how rare it is. Um, you can find it. You, you might have to spend 120, 150. I've seen bottles go for 250. You know, as a as a set. You know, with a shampoo and things like that. You know. But uh, I find that these old aftershaves, especially limited edition ones, it smells quite potent on them. All of them, and they're quite strong well, smells compared to yeah, because you know, everything now has been reformulated. If you look at a bottle of Chanel Number no. Five, it's that deep ambery yellow colour. You look at a bottle of Chanel number no. five now, it looks like light. It's, it's light. Everything's been really cool. Yeah, well. Ifra has moved in and they've you know they've taken certain things you can't use anymore because it's not I don't know why but you can't use it. It's it's all it's all um stimulate simulated now. It's all you know if it's musk it's gonna be sort of like a fake musk. It has got to be a musk. It, yeah it? it's got it's got it's got Tonka bean in it, everything. Yeah. But yeah. you can smell the orange and the Sicilian lemon. I mean, it seems yeah. nice on the, on the skin. Look. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It, I love it. <laughs> right, that's our four discontinued fragrances that we had to offer today. Many more to come. Um, I hope you enjoyed our first ever episode of Vasaroma. If you want to... Obviously, uh, see anything particular in the video, please put on the comments below um, something if you want to see particular, any some sort of range, uh, new fragrances are out, please comment below and we'll try and get something done for you guys. Uh, also, please subscribe to the channel as well below, uh, put those notifications on so when we do upload a video, it comes straight to you as well. Um, and that's us for today, mate. Uh, thank you very much thank and you very um, much. we'll be back soon.